Hi Erin, this is Philip Kenyon and I'm going to be critiquing your video today. Um, I wanted to uh, point out a few things about your run. Um, I think you need to make it a little bit further into the second barrel before you drop to your horn and uh, give your horse just a little bit more room. You um, have a really nice first, you leave the first pretty nice and there's enough speed. You sent us two videos and on the other one I thought you could have gone in the first a little bit faster even though you had a nicer turn. Um, but both runs on the second barrel you're just too close. This horse's shoulder is pinned next to the second barrel and it doesn't have anywhere to go but away from the turn on the back side and out. You need to give your horse just a little bit more room and shape coming into the turn and it will clean up the back side of the turn. Your approach is everything when you come into a barrel. You can see right there, when you sit down, you're leaning back and pulling your horse towards the turn to try to prevent it from bowing off the turn. And it's sort of a catch-22. You feel like your horse might blow off the turn a little bit, so you're trying to pull it back around. But what you're really doing is making the problem worse by sitting down and trying to turn your horse too early. Just get a little bit further up. Maybe pick a spot on the ground next to the turn where you can see that you have enough room coming into that second barrel. And you'll wait just a little bit longer, be a little bit more patient with your riding, and it'll clean up the back side of that second barrel and make you a lot faster, a lot snappier coming off of it, and then you can take off to a straight line to the third barrel. It's gonna not just clean up your second barrel, but also your third barrel because you'll have a straighter line and an easier time getting to the right spot on the third barrel. Hey Aaron, this is Philip Kenyon and I wanted to give you a little bit of a drill to try on your horse that was cutting off the second barrel turn. Um, this is an easy uh, little exercise that I do. It's not something I overdo, it's something that I do sparingly and uh, mostly at a slower speed, but it will help you and your horse think about continuing to move their feet up through their up through your spot and around the turn. Um, this mare will get sometimes a little bit short coming into turns. She runs really straight out the barrels, but sometimes we get a little bit short with our front feet and we don't keep moving. So I will do what I'm about to show you just just a few times a week, just to remind her of. Uh, of uh, where she's uh, supposed to be going and how to move her feet forward. Um, I'll do it at a walk first. And it's a pretty easy concept. You're gonna find your spot at the second barrel. And uh, placement is really important. No matter what you're doing with your horse, you wanna make sure this barrel's behind your leg when you start your turn. Um, it's an easy way to get your horse's shoulder clear and keep their hip underneath them. Um, this is maybe a little bit more room than I would actually give this mare in a run, but for your horse, I think this is probably a good spot. Um, and, oh, see, there we go. She tipped her hip out going, coming into it, so I'm gonna push it back in. When you find this spot, I just want you to, uh, a lot of people will actually try to move their horses away from a turn, and I find it makes your horse stiffer and stiffer. So I'm actually gonna pick this spot next to the barrel and make a little bit of a circle right here. And all this is doing is encouraging your horse's feet, your front feet, to keep moving forward. Forward's not really her issue, but sometimes she gets a little bit short with her front end. The key here, it isn't, it isn't necessarily to make a giant change in your horse. It's just to get your horse's front feet thinking get your horse's brain to think about their front feet and to get you to get your horse thinking a little bit differently about this spot in the barrel turn and in the run and you can do it anytime you feel your horse want to slow down their front end and not keep moving forward in a nice circle due to a couple different spots then you can come back around, pick that same spot again. Once your horse relaxes a little bit, you can 
it's really good to drop your outside rain. Notice I'm, I'm not really looking at the camera right now and that's on purpose. I'm actually paying attention to where my horse's feet are going. I'm looking at the spot in this circle where I want my horse's feet to move. And once I feel her relaxed, I'll let her move forward. That's why we do this. Oh. Whoa. 